All right, guys, back at the Silver Park today. I'm just waiting for Stan. It's supposed to be hot, like 30 degrees. Um, I don't know how much time I'm going to spend here. I'm a little bored with this park. So we're going to swing. And unless I'm filling my pockets with turn-of-the-century coins, we may end up finding somewhere else to move to shortly. But let's give it a go. You never know. I'm also learning, eat your snacks before your fingers get dirty. Hmm? I brought a few goodies. Huh, I don't know what that is. Is that some kind of piece off a of jewelry bracelet or something? I don't know. Well, faintest little thing ringing up down there, probably 15 inches. It was ringing up like a coin, old railroad spike. It was down there. I'm gonna go Hulk in a minute. Again, thought it was a coin. So did any of you guys watch that pirate treasure show on Netflix? It's the new one where they had the island, I forget what it was, but the Navy base was there and there was cans filled with gold coins that were buried a hundred years ago. And they had found two cans of this, one in 1950, one in 1970 something. And now the base was decommissioned, so these guys want to save the town by finding 300 million, right, worth of gold. It is the most ridiculous show. I watched the whole thing, but I ended up playing it in the background because every time they'd get a good signal, it was treasure, right? And then there'd be something stopping them. Oh, there's an unexploded ordinance here, so we need to call in an expert, which is going to take a month. And I'm thinking, okay, great, move 20 feet away from it and keep detecting this hill that they want to detect. It was just ridiculous. Oh, there's a signal under the, the porch or part of this house. Okay, now we've got to demolish the whole house to get to the signal. No, no you don't. Dig around for half an hour, you'll find out what it is. It was just a whole bunch of baloney. That was not treasure hunting. That's my opinion. Let me know if you watched it and what you thought. Uh, I'll put the name up here on the screen of what it was. An old key to a sardine tin. Eh, what did I tell you guys about eating snacks when your fingers are dirty? We'll have to let that guy go. Digging I'm over here digging garbage and Stan says, how's it going? And then he comes over and he shows me he got two silver rings. I didn't hear him squeal, hey Gary, come dig over here. It just happened, but uh, I walked over to tell you. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, there you go. That, like, makes, that makes your day right there, Stan. A couple silver. Yeah, inches apart, buddy. Uh, an old valve. Like, what's that doing out in the middle of a soccer field? Come on. Can't really say that I understand what's going on here because that guy was out here yesterday cutting that field. And he's back. Oh, to have a city job. Anyway, I've got a loony in the hole. First dollar of the day. Ugh, 725 Originals. That is a rivet off of jeans. Alright, gonna do a live one. Stan said he had a decent signal. It's a clump, but nothing visible. Gotta be a coin. It was deep? Fairly, yes. Alright, crack it open. Let's see. I'm not seeing come any on, rust. Come on, come on, silver. I'm not seeing any rust. No, oh, that's gone. Still singing. Uh, oh, an, an old penny. penny. <laughs> Might be an oldie though. Let's take a look. 1978. Stan, you should feel shame bothering me with that. Shame! <laughs> well, there's two hours of digging, guys. So Stan's little pile here. He got the rings, which is awesome. We couldn't figure out what this was, but it's actually a magnet. So... We'll actually probably carry that around with us now so we can test our stuff. With our lucky magnet. And there's the silver marking on the first ring right there. And there's the 925 on the second ring. So good job, Stan. And both look well worn, don't they? Oh yeah. I mean, look at the size of this ring, guys. This That was one big dude. I mean, I could fit a finger and a half in there. <laughs> Uh, I made a buck 25, 35, 45, 50, so almost a medium coffee and some junk. Stan's going to take my brass and cash it in. <laughs> That's it, guys. So thanks for joining. Good morning, everybody. Just 
waiting for Stan here. We're uh, going to head back in today. We're going to do a trekking with Stan video. We want to trek a set of quarries. And I forgot my geology bucket home. Dang! Uh, yeah, I had plans to uh, look for cool rocks and stuff. And we want to take the dogs for a good hike. But we want to check out these two quarries. So no detecting today because I hurt my hand yesterday. I got a couple of real nice... Uh, that one there, my finger's all swollen. I got stabbed with a 100-year-old piece of glass. And so I asked Stan to uh, find some kind of adventure today not detecting because I can't... I can't dig. I want to. I don't want to get dirt in that finger, which is already infected. And I thought we'll just take a hike and see if we can find some cool stuff back at the quarry. Yesterday I got caught with the wrong boots. Not today. We can walk in the water today. It's all good. Before we get on our hike here, Stan's got more dump treasures. I just got to show you guys these. The stuff that gets thrown out around here it absolutely, absolutely amazes us. Like, check out what he found. These are old ramrods. Muskets and stuff, rifles. Yeah, so like really old though. Like for cleaning guns. I've never seen them with the wooden handle on the end. <laughs> like, Don't yeah, and somebody just, artifacts. somebody just goes through when grandpa dies, they go through and throw all the stuff out. Stan got all the fishing rods. He thinks they came from the same guy. <laughs> like these are old, heavy duty. Couldn't pass that up. You know, you can't resist when you see artifacts like that. It's just... You got to save them, man. Yeah. Loading that musket, man, or that long gun, <laughs> right? Horseshoe lessons with Stan. Okay, here's a Voyager horseshoe. These are 1900s horseshoes. One, it's a pony shoe. Notice the, the these these prongs here were not implemented until... 1850 around yeah, and our old shoe has square nails absolutely no prongs However, this groove that they put nails into yeah was implemented late, Later than 1700 so like this shoe could be 1700 up to 1850 somewhere in there. Yeah Cool. This was a big workhorse. You could tell by the lateral supports. He's, he's pulling a load. He's, you don't want his hoofs to slide sideways. Yeah. That's what uh, the intent of all these was. Same with going forward. Then. Maybe even working in the snow up here because yeah. a lot of them did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The more nails, the harder they were working, basically, and the more support. There's the quarry down there. There's a couple of them in here. Open pits. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Pyrite all in this one here. You can see the layers of it. Got to be copper in these samples here. They're just green, green, green. I think they're turkey vultures. Three big vultures up there in the trees. If they come down and start pecking out your eyes, Stan, I'll use your rock hammer on them. Yeah, definitely vultures. Yeah, so we think they're uh, juvenile vultures here, probably turkey vultures. They're not flying anywhere. They're just happy to be basking in the sun.
Another nice face right there to explore, Stan. I gotta bring the Suron in here. I'm missing out. <laughs> There's some mountains in here. I'm sure the uh, pit guys would love that. <laughs> here, hold my beer and my phone, Stan. I'm going to get the Suron. There's a skull. Really cool high faces here all around the outside of the quarry. Lots of places to look for cool rocks or even uh, gems or crystals or anything. Haven't found any so far. So around here there's not a lot of gold. You will find little uh, flecks and uh, you know tracer specks here and there in the creeks. But you have to go about 300 miles north to Timmins and they are world renowned for their uh, deep gold deposits there. Here in this area, there's a little bit of silver if you go up to the mining towns of Cobalt. Back in the day, they were famous for silver. We, we did an expose on that when I found a hidden silver cache back in the day when we were metal detecting. Uh, but mostly in this area is nickel. That is the big one. You know, in the Sudbury area where I lived for 18 years and worked underground, um, I was a blasting instructor and blasting guy. And then I moved into environmental. Um, nickel, that's the big ticket, right? It's... Uh, in competition with Russia to be uh, world producers of nickel, actually. Hey, come here, we gotta climb it. We're up here. I know, I'm talking to the dog. He needed some encouragement. Oh, okay. Now throw me the rope, Stan. No, I went from back over here where it's shallower. No, just throw me the rope. I've got one. Why do I do this? I've wiped out more times on this channel in the last two weeks. Won't even throw me a rope. Oh, it's pretty steep. I'll throw you a tree. How's the water, buddy? 